here we got the support wires. Ding, 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 ding. All right, everybody, I finally went over to the dark side and got myself a Lands style hive. This is a swarm trap, seven frame uh, land style. <clears throat> This is not a paid endorsement or a paid advertisement or anything like that. I bought this because I really wanted one. Um, I saw that one of my buddies starting, you know, his own business, building equipment. And, man, I couldn't be happier with this thing. So I'm going to show it off. I'm going to brag about this thing a little bit. Um, great thing is it was painted, which I didn't know it was going to be painted. So that's great. that saved me a ton of time. But seven frames... And these frames are deep, as you've probably seen on Land's hives before. So it's about the size of a 10-frame uh, box. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. Hey, it's cold out here, too. That's why I got my, my favorite old jacket on. First of all, this thing is really heavy just because it's made. It's, it's sturdy. It's definitely heavy. The lid is nice and it's just perfect. As I showed you these frames here, the only modification I did to these was adding my comb guide starter strip at the top so I could have some nice straight combs. Here we got the support wires. Ding, 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 ding. Something I didn't notice right away, I'm all crouched down like this. Uh, the inside is scorched, which is a really nice touch. It's like blackened in there on the inside, which is great. That's definitely increases the attractiveness for bees for honeybees I'm gonna coat it with a little bit of wax and uh, some swarm lure another cool thing about this trap is the hanging mechanism here if I remember it's called a French French cleat this 2x4 here locks it into place of course, it's not going to come out easy when I'm here trying to make a video. <laughs> it came out really easy before. I might need to sand it a little bit. Just to loosen it up a little bit. Man, I'm getting this thing out of here. There's no me not getting this thing out of here. I mean, I didn't even know this was coming with this thing. Um, this thing's sturdy and heavy, too, but a lot of you builders out there probably know how this all works. It's got these. This here fits right onto the hanging thing. So when you attach this to the tree or whatever pole, whatever you're going to put on the fence, you just hang your box on it. That thing's pretty much not coming down. I don't have any other type of lands equipment, so I won't be transferring the bees that I catch into a big lands hive. I think for the first season, I mean, that's just what I'm saying now. What I'm saying for the first season is I'll probably just leave them in here once I catch them. I will put a layer of insulation here under the lid. That's about it. That's all I'm going to do. The great thing about these frames is... Once the comb is built down, the bees don't have to travel between boxes and between between frames to get from one part of the comb to the other. That's just one big straight up and down uh, surface for them to travel on. So 
So I think over the course of this year, I'll slowly phase out some of my lens straw equipment to make room for, you know, a couple of these nice lands. Lands, uh, type hive. And this is the great thing about the swarm trap. You got your nice little entrance disc here. You can, it'll be really easy to move when I'm ready to move it. I'll just ratchet strap it. Keep the lid on. Uh, turn the dial. Move them on a cool night. They'll be great in there. This thing is absolutely catching bees. There's no way on earth this thing is not catching bees. Perfect size. I love the color. The color isn't like so reflective white. And it's also not too dark. It's right there in the middle. So I think it'll maintain a good temperature. And if you're interested in these, you can check out Suburban Sodbusters channel. Check out his website. Um, you'll probably see him in the comments section down there. And yeah, keep uh, stay tuned. This is going to be fun catching bees in this thing, catching free bees. I'm going to put this somewhere deep in the forest, catch some of those deep forest bees that I love. It's going to be great. Thanks for watching. See you next time.